Thank you for joining us. I'm Alexandra Meacham. Solving crime takes a community. That's the message of a crime fighting summit today with public officials and concerned citizens. In tonight's top story, the goal is to bring together various groups to work together on tackling crime and find solutions. And there's a difference with this event compared to public meetings in the past. It's called the Crime in Shreveport Project, bringing together key players in the community to meet with one another at the YMCA on Olive Street. If people work together, then we are going to combat it. Salvation Army volunteer Penny Durham hosted the summit, who says her personal experience inspired her. I have been in this in the system with a child that I had 13 years ago, so I have been through the system. I have been I have tried to get help and couldn't navigate that. So if we just don't do anything, then we're going to be having this same problem. Elected officials with the city and parish were there, along with the police chief, the sheriff, the district attorney, and Caddo Juvenile Services. Collaboration is, I think, one of the only ways we're really going to tackle this. It's, it's a complicated problem. You're dealing with poverty. You're dealing with lack of education. You're dealing with crime. Plus, nonprofit organizations, such as the Volunteers for Youth Justice and Compassion for Lives, that work with children and former prisoners Entering society. Kind of meet each other where our shortcomings are, share some of our triumphs, and then be able to go and take that out to the community. They discussed established programs and services in the Shreveport community that are available, underutilized, or unknown, ranging from anger management programs to mentorship and mental health. A lot of the organizations here, we we didn't know they existed, and we didn't know that we were duplicating a lot of those services. Collaboration with a strong message of hope compared to years past. This is probably the most I've seen everybody come together, and I've been doing this now for, for over 20 years. And Durham says the summit also brings together groups that already exist without extra funding. And the next step is putting them all together on one website for parents and anyone in need to easily access.